Are you ready to start sourcing products in the US but you don't know how to start or where to go or where to find suppliers? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you some well-tested ways that I have been finding great suppliers in the US and I'm going to also show you how to contact them. My name is Afolabi. I've been sourcing products for the past 20 years and recently I have been very successful in sourcing products here in the US. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So stick around. I have a magic script that I'm going to show you at the end of the video that you may not want to miss my magic script on how to talk to US suppliers so they can listen to you right but before we go on make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and like it and share with your friends or other business colleagues so that uh, we can all have a great time sourcing products in the u.s okay all right let's jump right into it my number one way of finding u.s suppliers is the good old google go to google.com and then type in the kind of products you're looking for. If you're looking for a wooden product supplier, you might want to type in something like meal work in the US or wood products supplier in the US. Always end with in the US or in the USA because if you don't, it's the Google is going to find you different wood products all over the world, right? So the first tip is type in into Google the kind of product, the keywords you're going to use for your products, but end it with in the USA or in the US and you see the results that Google is going to give you. Now, when you're searching and sorting through the results that Google spits out to you, you have to be very aware of the ones that have sponsored ads. The ones that have Google sponsored ads are the most serious suppliers in the US. To me, it shows that they're ready to do business. They're actively advertising on Google so that they can win business. If you're not looking for business, you don't advertise on Google, right? So I always go for the ones that have Google ads paid and the ones that have really good search engine optimization. That means they show up organically as well on the search pages. Those are the ones I go for because I know they're ready for business. That's why they've done a good job in being on page one of Google or they're putting the ads on page one on Google. All right. Okay. Number two, my favorite place where I find US suppliers is YouTube. Surprisingly, YouTube right because if you search on youtube for a supplier by a keyword by saying i'm looking for aluminum supplier i'm looking for anodized aluminum supplier on youtube and then you see factory tours remember to end with in the usa right i always end with the usa aluminum cabinet supplier in the usa and when you search for that watch out for the results that come up on youtube Whichever suppliers have video tours of their factory or they have how-tos or self-help or self-guide on YouTube and look at the year, the number of years, uh, how many years ago they posted the video. It tells you how active they are on YouTube. So take a factory tour, take a look at what they put in there. It's to show you they're looking for business. If they put up a YouTube video, tutorials, factory tours on YouTube, they want you to know they're open for business. So I go to YouTube to find my suppliers. Number three, I go to Facebook as well. I see how active these suppliers are on Facebook, how engaging they are on Facebook. You search for a supplier on Facebook, or if you find a supplier on Google, you can validate them on Facebook to see what's the activity that they have on Facebook, right? Take a look at what they're posting. Take a look at their projects. Take a look at the product photos that they put on Facebook. It will give you a good indication of what kind of products they're making at the moment, right? Okay, the next one is LinkedIn. So you type in keywords again of the product you're looking for into LinkedIn and you start seeing the executives or sales reps of this company popping up on LinkedIn. And then you can actually send them direct messaging on LinkedIn. You can also send them direct messaging on Facebook. 
so that they can reply to you immediately, right? So the next one platform that I use is DMB, Don and Beer Street. It's a little bit static. It's not really my favorite. I think they've been bought over now by Sometry. Sometry is another good place to find suppliers if you're looking for metal work, if you're looking for 3D printing, if you're looking for prototyping, you'll be able to find more of them on Sometry. That's X-O-M-E-T-R-Y you know, that you can reach out to the suppliers, tell them what you're looking for, and they'll be able to give you quotes, right? So those are the ways that I find my suppliers in the US. But I promise you, if you stick to the end of my video, I'm going to give you my magic script that I use in contacting suppliers. But before I get to my magic script, let me tell you ways that I contact them. The number one way, the most effective way to contact your supplier to get results is by phone call. You've got to call them and actually talk to somebody. So if the receptionist picks it up, ask the receptionist if you can speak to a salesperson on that team that you're about to give them a product and you want to talk to a salesperson on that team. All right. If phone calls don't work, which I doubt it, it always works. You have to go into emails You send them an email and I'll give you the magic script for phone and email. It works good for both phone and email and send them an email and tell them what you really want to do. And, you know, go to the company directory on their website and find the right person to send an email to. The third way is to direct message them on social media platforms, right? Reach out to them on YouTube or Facebook or LinkedIn and then send them a direct message and they will reply to you. Now, those are the three things I've used and they really work. Number one is phone call. Phone call always worked for me, right? because people you talk to them and they can feel you they can see the energy in your voice they can know that you're really for real right okay now my magic script thank you for sticking to the end here is what i tell suppliers in the u.s to get their attention it goes this way i have been making products in china and i'm looking to bring my production back into the u.s and i'm looking for a great supplier and i found your company online and I want to bring my products back into the U.S. for manufacturing. I'm already making 7,000 units a year. I'm already selling 8,000 units a year. Tell them how much you're selling. But I want to bring all that business and give it to you so that you guys can make it here in the U.S. They might tell you, well, we cannot compete with China price. You know, things are very cheap in China. Just tell them, yes, I know. But I want the premium of made in the U.S. I've heard a lot of good things about your company. I've seen some of the products you've made and I think we're a better fit to help me make this product. So what's the next step that I can send you a design of my product or I can send you a real product for you to take a look at so that you can help me out? It's that simple, guys. That's my script. I tell them, notice how I'm using psychology to talk to them. I tell them that I'm bringing my manufacturing back into the U.S. to help the U.S. economy. I'm bringing it back into the U.S. to help the U.S. economy during this pandemic. Everybody's like, oh my God, that is so cool. Wow, we appreciate that. We really like that. That's a good initiative. That's what they always tell me when I do that. And that's, I'm not lying, that's just what I'm doing. I'm really bringing the business back into the US to help the US economy, right? It always works. Make sure you use that script like that. It always works. I'm gonna display the script on the screen for you. You can copy and I'm probably gonna make a downloadable version for you at the bottom of this video so that you can use it any way you like. And let me know how you're doing. Subscribe to this channel, share this video, share your experiences with me. Any way I can help you, please reach out to me in the links down here and I'll be happy to help, okay? All right, bye.